Hey everybody, it's Caleb DeCoffee here. Now, the main question I have been getting for such a long time is how do I get Party Grumble or, you know, the other Grumbles or myself on the bottom left of my screen when I do my streams or videos? So, today I'm going to show you how I do it, how you can set up VitoTube Mini on your PC for OBS Studio. This is for OBS Studio, not for uh, Streamlabs, it is for OBS Studio. So if you have it, then that's your completed step, and now you can follow this step by step. Now there are other tutorials about it, but I wanna try and give the most simplified information so that you will know step by step on what to do. And if you obviously forget, you can come back to this video. But if you don't wanna watch and you already know how, then it's fine. So, I already have it downloaded, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to download it again. So, here you go. So, first off, you have to search up VitoTube Mini, or you just, like, get it right here. So, right here, VitoTube Mini on itch.io. This is it. So, we go down here, just click, um, click download, and of course, it's going to say for you to donate, but thankfully, it is optional. So you can just click, no thanks, just take me to the downloads. So then, depending on what computer you have, for me, I'm going to use Windows 64. Now it's downloading, it's, only, it's going to take a minute to download. Okay, the download has completed, so now it's in a zip file, so what you do is, all you're going to do is you're going to extract it. Just extract the file, it can be anywhere. There we go. Now, you open up Vito 2 Mini. And see, for me, I already have it all downloaded, so I already have all my stuff here, but I'm going to make a new one, and I'm actually going to get some new VitoTube stuff, so let me full screen this. Yes, so I'm going to full screen this. Alright, now I'm going to show you, um, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to show you, uh, how to make the VitoTube process. So this tutorial is made specifically for uh, the squirrels animations. He wanted to figure out how to do it, so uh, I'm gonna take this party clone, I'm gonna change the name, this is just an example, to squirrel, because why not? So, what you're gonna do is, you have closed mouth image, open mouth image, open mouth blinking, and closed mouth blinking. So what you're gonna do is you need, uh, blinking is optional. You need two images of one of your character, uh, you know, sitting there, like that, and then, you need to have, um, one where, you know, your mouth, like, you know, when you speak, it's mouth, it's thing opens. So, for closed mouth image, you're going to, you would add an image, scroll down to the squirrel idle. And this is where, uh, you know, a lot of confusion will start. Why is the background there? Well, I'm going to show you guys, okay? So then, you add... An open mouth image so we're just gonna do this for example we're gonna remove a party and that so what you do now is you're gonna go to OBS okay and uh, normally I would show it like you know in for starters in grumble chat you'd have to get it lined up so something like this I already like you know tried to get it lined up and uh, obviously the images are different sizes so that's gonna be a bit of a problem for when the squirrel actually does this and like you know uh you have to get the images the right size and if you don't then you know the uh the layering and stuff like this can always turn up bad anyway so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to uh vtuber and smaller overlays so obviously depending on what color your character is it could mess up the character thing so uh before i do anything on that what i would suggest is that when you do your vtuber have your background not as this but as let me see if i can move if you did it if you wanted to use something like this then you can go right ahead but obviously i you know i'm using something that's more like this and if you know if i actually look at it now uh it, it literally looks the same way it just did but what i do instead of doing all that i just change it to transparent and it's so much easier so uh once again and for microphone settings i would suggest having noise reduction on uh celero i think that's how it's pronounced anyway about the vtuber itself to get the background removed what you do is you click you add the vtuber uh you click plus 
You click Game Capture, and then you capture a specific window, and then you capture this. And then the only way you'll be able to remove the background is if you check this box right here. Allow Transparency. So yeah. Uh, cl click the check mark, allow transparency. If you don't, that background is not gonna, that background's gonna be there. So you click allow transparency, click the check mark, and there you go. Your VTuber is there. You just gotta, like, you know, get it in the right spot, like, you know, get the, all the images lined up, something like that. And, uh, yeah, that is now, um, everything. That is everything that I can tell you how to do for, uh, the V, the VTuber. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments down below, and I will see if I can, you know, try and figure it out and answer them. But for now, that's gonna be it, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you all so much for loving, love, <clears throat> what? <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm talking too fast. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys. I love all your, uh, love and support, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.